Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert, and welcome to the first ever Logic Pro Expert Remix Off. In this video, I'm going to take these two Apple loops and get crazy with remix effects and see what I can come up with. And in the companion video, my buddy Chris Vandeviver is taking the same two loops up all night bass and lo-fi dirty beat 01 from the Apple loop library. And we're going to see what he can come up with with re remix effects. Here's what they sound like as is. Let's get crazy. All right. The first thing I've done is I set my snap setting to division so that I could marquee select different segments of this and option drag them over. I want to create a kind of intro. So this has got a deliberately rhythmic aspect to it since it's on the divisions and I'm doing them every two beats and I'm deliberately doing them out of order to kind of get a different blend of them. So I've copied over little slices like that and I've split them up across these two tracks over here. And all I've done on these tracks is just set some stereo panning up. I right clicked and set it to stereo pan and set that weighted to the left and this one weighted to the right. And I took some slices on the drums and this is what it sounds like. Great. Now, I have this all going to my mix bus, and that's where I have remix effects set up. So what I'm going to do is just hit Control z to zoom in there and hit A for automation. And here under Mix, I've got Auto Select Automation Parameter in Read Mode. So I'm going to experiment. I think I want to start with this Gator function. Let me show the controls. And with this, quarter notes should be fine. So I want to capture something like that. So it's automatically selected that parameter. I'm going to switch it to touch and just capture some movement. All right, great. So let me just hide this for a moment. And I'm going to take this out of touch. And you can see here that it's captured a couple of parameters. It's captured the gate on and off and the actual rate. And that's just the nature of how automation works for remix effects, because it's important that the parameters are actually enabled and disabled at the end. Otherwise, they're going to hold on the last values that are set. And we actually want the effect to stop. So it's intelligently doing that for us. So this is what we have so far. Great. Now I've got this set to repeater and yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. And again, quarter notes, I think will be fine. Let me just practice a little bit. I want to do something like that. So again, I'm going to put it into touch mode and let me capture that. Okay, great. And I'll go back to read mode and let's listen. There are all our parameters. All right, it's doing a nice job. I want to develop this some more. Let me experiment. I'm going to go on the other side here with the filter. Yeah, I'm going to do a nice slow movement like that. And again, it's auto-selected the parameter. All right, good. Let's listen to that. Great. So what I'm going to do is set my automation preferences to ask me if I want to move automation when I'm moving a region with underlying automation. So now I'm going to take it out of automation mode by hitting A, and I'm just going to right-click and create a MIDI region here. And this is just a dummy region. It's going to act as a placeholder to move automation. It's the easiest way to copy large or many lanes of automation. So I'm going to option-click this to move it, and it's going to ask me if I want to copy it, and I'm going to go copy. And if I turn on automation, we'll see all the underlying automation has been moved. So what I'm going to do is copy all this over. I'm going to kind of extend my intro. And I think I'm going to mute the drums for the first time. So let me just see what this is like building up the intro like that. All 
All right, that's building up nicely. What I think I'm going to do is maybe the second time mute or get rid of the automation on the filter. So here it is. I'm just going to select that and delete it. And then the same thing here for the cutoff. And then we will have a bit of differentiation. And the on-off is still there. So let's just listen to the transition there. Okay, great. That's working nicely. Now we got to sort of land somewhere at the end of it. Okay, I decided to add the full drum loop in on a track of its own underneath the second half of the intro, what I'm considering to be the intro. And of course, that's going through all the effects as well, since remix effects is on the mix bus. Then when they all drop out, I have the groove going. So it's unaffected for the moment. And then the bass comes in. And now I want to record the reverse effects. And I've customized them slightly so that the reverse rate is a half note. And then in this direction, it's a whole note. So let's listen to the transition and record some of that. And again, I'm in touch mode here. Right, that's nice. Now I want to go back and do another pass. And again, you'll hear the transition. And I want to get a real chopped, gated feel. And I'm going to, I think, try putting the loop in full underneath that. So let's capture this. Good. All right. That's working the way I want. It sounds a bit unusual, I know, but what I'm going to do is duplicate this track. And instead of routing it to my mix bus with the remix effects, I'm going to route it just to the stereo output. And then I'm going to just copy this down here. And we'll have this happening sort of in full gluing together this chopped effect. Let's see what that's like. Great, so I have this steady pulse underneath and these two elements that are chopped, panned. So now let's land on the full groove and then let's listen back to the whole thing. All right, let's listen to this start to finish. Now on this chopped up drum groove, I added an instance of remix effect directly on this track and I automated a bit of filter movement. So that's filtered the chops along with the chops here. And then when the full groove comes in, I automated a bit of reverb at the end. So let's listen to this from the top. sudden ending. So that's my little masterpiece. This is Eli Kransberg from Logic Pro Expert. I hope you got some ideas on how you can work with remix effects. I'll see you for more next time.